What's cracking, everybody? Welcome to another break night. Now, before we begin, if you are watching from YouTube, please do us a big favor and hit that thumbs up for us. Also, please vote in the poll at the top of the video to rate this break, and of course, comment down below what us know if you thought the hit of the break was. Now, let's get to it. Let's crack that wax. everyone welcome to another break night i'm your break host and resident wax cracker my name is christopher it is wednesday august 11th 2021 it is alan and ginter release day i'm in the cardboard sanctuary at crack and wax manor i'm ready to rip into this big freaking case of ginter i hope you are as well if you're watching us from youtube periscope twitch breakers tv instagram facebook wherever you are please say hello let me know that you're there. Of course, if you're watching us from YouTube, whether you're watching live or watching the replay, please do me a very big favor. Stop everything you're doing right now. And let's have a thumbs up party. Cool people, thumbs up, jerks, thumbs down. Make sure you're subscribed and tickle that little notification bell so you don't miss another live break in the future. Well, speaking of saying hello, let's bring up the chat room. I know this was very last minute, but we've got Chris D, Marlin's guy, Fixer and Joe Mama here nice and early in the chat room. And I do want to thank you so much for joining me last minute. Here's what happened. So uh, the case, actually case says, multiple cases, uh, were out for delivery this morning. And I got notified that they will be here by 7 p.m. Central. So I told myself, and I didn't mention this to anybody, but I told myself, if this stuff gets here by 6, I'll rip it tonight. If not, we'll have to do it tomorrow. Um, obviously the sooner I can get it done, uh, the more time I'll have to sort <laughs> and the faster I can get it into your hands. So I was really actually hoping that this would be more of like a two or three o'clock delivery and, you know, we could start ripping at like five o'clock or whatever tonight and just, and you know, just be loose, you know, and just take it easy. And, but, uh, but it got here like three minutes after six, like six o'clock hit. And I'm like, well, I guess, guess we're not doing Ginter today. But uh, I also didn't want to put out any kind of schedule notification until I actually had the product at hand. And it's just as soon as I was about to open up my laptop, <laughs> here comes UPS with my cases of Ginter. So got here, um, opened up my laptop. I went like, I mean, I, you probably don't know. This actually takes me about a good half hour, 45 minutes to set up just uh, to, to stream my breaks so i do a lot of uh fussing around that other breakers don't do so that's that's on me you know i do a lot of extra stuff that you probably have no idea uh but it i mean i just went like a madman took me 20 minutes to do what normally takes me a half hour to 45 minutes to do and here we are i appreciate everyone for their patience a lot of people didn't know what the hell was going on well that's because i didn't know what was going on i can't break without product obviously but here it is. Product is here. You're looking at the case right in front of you. We're going to rip that open in just a minute. Um, and uh, we do have another case, full case PYT, in the shop right now. Um, it's linked, pinned message at the top of the chat room in YouTube. Or just go to crackandwax.com slash shop. That'll be the only break in the shop. I believe there are like eight or nine teams left there. Um, that one will probably rip next week, though. I do have it in my possession. Uh, but that'll probably go next week. But if you want to pick up some teams, there is another full case PYT sitting in the shop. I, I'm very glad to have a release night break. I prefer doing release night breaks. Um, so here we are. Release night break. There it is. Good evening, Nick B. All right. Well, 2021 tops. Allen and Ginter full case PYT. Now, before we get into ripping, let's talk about Allen and Ginter. We, I had some questions uh, that came my way on our Discord channel. By the way, if you've purchased a spot from Crack and Wax in the last two, three years, you're welcome to join our Discord room. Just go to Crack and Wax slash Discord, and that'll get you in. But you do need your Crack and Wax uh, username and password to get in. So, but you're you're welcome to join us. But anyways, I had questions about the checklist, specifically the non-MLB portion of that, and of course. 
Ginter's a little weird with that stuff sometimes because they throw in some baseball people that might be affiliated with baseball, it might not be, but then they don't have a baseball name team on it or team name on it. Uh, but we'll get to that. Firstly, let's talk about the product itself. And it's, I, I love this product. This is, it, if anyone knows Crack and Wax, they know that this is basically uh, what I built Crack and Wax on was Alan, Alan and Ginter. It's one of the most divisive sets every year, of course. They throw in a lot of uh, what I call non-MLB. Some people call non-baseball. But there is baseball content sometimes in that area. So I just called it non-MLB. And here's where some of the confusion is going to be is with that McCutcheon card. Well, it's an Uncle Larry card. Should it go to the Phillies or should it go to non-MLB? Well, that particular card is going to go to non-MLB. I hemmed and hawed over it. But it is on the non-MLB portion of the checklist, and I'll show you exactly where that is. But uh, going further into what to find in Allen & Ginter, we, of course, are going to be finding minis. Minis are everywhere in Allen & Ginter. Uh, one per pack. The short prints are one in every 13 packs. Uh, those minis, of course, uh, are going to have their own variations in, in parallel. So you got the Allen & Ginter mini back, the black backs, uh, no numbered backs, Brooklyn backs, uh, which I believe are hand numbered. It doesn't say so here, but they're typically hand numbered uh, to 25. Then you got your glossies and you've got your hobby exclusive wood one of ones. Of course, you can find printing plates. Uh, you've got your mini autos, which are huge, usually framed, and rip cards. You've got your uh, traditional solo rip cards. You also have your dual rip cards, and you do have your rare but still possible box loader triple rip cards. And then the big chase, obviously, um, if you're into Ginter, you probably know, are these unique non-MLB cards. Of course, we do have box loaders. Uh, you're gonna have your N43s. Um, what else do they have in here? I thought they had something else. Oh yeah, the min mini world's largest cards are blown up with a topper version of that, so. And, okay, so let's talk about the checklist. And I'm just gonna specifically go to the non-baseball area here. And I'm just going to, for instance, type in Uncle Larry. Okay, now he is in a dual rip card with Andrew McCutcheon. Now, in that case, if we do pull that one, I would have to randomly decide who gets that card. Is it the Phillies or the non-MLB? Now, why? Why? Well, here he is, non-MLB, 207. That's where he sits in non-baseball. Now, here's the other really weird thing about it. And this is one of the questions I got today. What about Kim Eng? Kim Ang is, uh, I believe, general manager um, of the Marlins. And she's listed on the checklist as being with the Marlins, even though the card itself does not say Marlins. So normally what I do when I'm sorting uh, this set is I defer to how the card reads. Is the card specifically a Marlins card or is it specifically something else? Now, I happen to know that uh, there is a bit of a women in baseball uh, kind of mini subset within the base checklist, which is confusing things even more. So you've got general managers, you've got coaches and things like that um, that are specific to teams, not the non-MLB portion. So I'm going to defer to the Beckett checklist, which is what this is, um, broken down by Ryan Cracknell as it pertains to those subjects. If they're on the checklist for, let's say, like Kim Eng is for the Marlins, she's going to go to the Marlins, not M not the N uh, not MLB. Now, if it's like Uncle Larry, even though that clearly has Andrew McCutcheon and clearly is in a Phillies jersey, he's in the non-baseball, or as I would call it, non-MLB portion of the checklist. So we're going to defer to that. And I hope that makes sense. Yeah, and Debbie, I, I I know. I absolutely know. And trust me, I went back and forth on that, but that's where it is on the checklist. That's where I've got to live with it. So that's where it's going to be. So, yeah. All right, screen's going away. Now, I do also want to let you know, um, if you are in Deb P's Allen & Ginter charity case break, we are going to run the randomization for the random teams following the break. I'll have chapter stops in the video doobly-doo 
underneath the video on YouTube. So if you want to check that out on the replay, that'll be there. I'll also, of course, be posting the random team assignments on the forum. So if you're in that break, it'll be there. And before I rip open this case, there's the team board. So this is for this PYT number one. So these are pick your teams. No trades will happen here. What I'm going to be doing, though, since you don't see non-MLB, what I'm doing here is every two boxes, we're going to treat it kind of like instant gratification. I'm going to take all the non-hit spots, randomize it, and the name at the top of the list on uh, the winning randomization will win all the non-MLB cards in that round of two boxes. And we'll keep doing it till we're done with the break. If you get a non-MLB hit, then I'll count it as a hit for your spot that you want it on. If you don't get a hit, then you're eligible to go again. I hope that makes sense. And if you have any questions about that, please let me know. All right, folks. I'm going to grab my beer. I've got a can of beer. And I'm sure LQ will hook me up with another beer later on. Take a swig. Get myself, uh, well, hydrated with beer. Yeah. <laughs> And let's get going on this case break. And of course, big thanks to Blowout Cards for the nice discount. Uh, ended up paying about $50 less than Deb P did on her case. So thank you very much for that, Blowout Cards. Very much appreciated. All right, folks, let's crack that wax. Here we go. All right, here it is tonight. For the first time, it's on release day two. 2021 tops. Alan and Gitter full case PYT number one. Here's the case fresh case just got here like 45 minutes ago uh 12 boxes in a case 24 packs per box this sucker's heavy yeah Ugh. and actually i'm gonna cut it by the bottom that's usually the easiest thing to do hope everyone's having a great night and and thanks again uh for your patience with me on the last minute notice uh i i, I don't like it when stuff shows up that late but what can you do what can you do I'm just glad it got here, and I'm, I'm very appreciative that it's here on release thing. All right, let's try not to kill any more bobbleheads. <laughs> and there we go. That's a full case of Allen and Ginter. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna make two towers of boxes here. Spread that out. And away we go. Good luck, everybody. And happy Allen and Ginter Day. <laughs> All right, box number one. And here's what our boxes look like. Look for any three of these cards, autograph cards, rip, uh, relic cards, rip cards, printing plates, book cards, so on and so forth. Uh, we've got, as I mentioned, 24 packs a box, eight cards per pack. Uh, autos are the hardest items to find. They're not guaranteed per box. We're gonna see a lot of relics more than likely. And as I mentioned, I will be randomizing uh, the non-hit spots after every two boxes to see uh, who gets the non-MLB cards from those two boxes. And our box loader, yes, all cards ship, even if I have to send it in a separate mailer. Here's our first card. Allen and Ginter, World's Champions, one oversized box loader card inside. And yes, these can be autoed as well. And it is, well, it says congratulations. And it's Jacob DeGrom. So Derek, usually when it says congratulations, that means, means it's autographed, but it is not. So a little bit of a, a psych you out there action there. <laughs> but it's a nice looking cabinet card nonetheless. Congratulations, Derek. And I'm hoping to have some more boxes in so I can do some packs on loop. So if anyone enjoys Crack and Wax on loop, hopefully we'll be doing some of that there as well. All right. Old Dirty Boat is here. What's going on, Old Dirty Boat? And here are the cards. And we've got 
Oh, I thought we had a hit there for a second. All right, so this is what the fronts are looking like this here and the backs. Ooh, that is looking off-centered, and I'm not sure if that's cut off-centered or if that's just designed poorly. Hmm. But pretty standard for uh, Allen and Ginter. Hayes, Brett, Gonzalez, Doby, Lamette, Kohei, Arihara is your first me. Edgar Martinez, tops historical hits. Hey, what's these charges on the credit card from Loop? <laughs> Just tell her you're, uh, it's an app to look for new jewelry. <laughs> Wood Jr. Busta Posey, Long Judge, Drew Baker. There's Uncle Larry. Okay, so Uncle Larry, baseball personality on the back. Even though it's Andrew McCutcheon on the front. <laughs> AG back of JD Martinez. And Golden Lion Tamarin. There's a guy who I don't think was with the twins anymore. And ooh, just about lost. Now this is what's considered a black frame parallel of Rojas. And the Maraud Reimagined. Anybody uh, end up with some boxes from Tops this morning? I, they may even still be up. They were 150 per box. Um, however, Blowout had them for like 130 per box, which I was, oh, there's an Uncle Larry Mini, which I was kind of shocked by, to be honest with you. Uh, usually Tops price is a little bit better. Not that I don't want people to shop at Tops, but <laughs> Trevor Lawrence is going to go down on MLB, obviously. You Darvish Mini, Standard Back, Clemente, Historical Hits. Well, what are your thoughts so far on the base design of Ginter this year, especially uh, compared to years past? Ryan Wagner. There's Kim Eng. And what does it say in the back? So it says baseball general manager. So that would normally, I would say, I'd read that and I'd say, okay, well, that's, that's got to be uh, non-MLB, but she is general, general manager of the Marlins. So I don't know. Uh, I'm glad someone pointed that out because that's, that's exactly where I would have put that. I would put that with non-MLB. Because um, I would have just assumed that's where it would sit on the uh, checklist. So. I'm not surprised. It, I'd be surprised if it was there if it was uh, below blowout and Steel City prices. And many of world's largest Uluru Rock. Yeah, I... I'm not a fan of luminaries. I've never purchased any, and we've got a rip card. Boy, do we have a rip card. And I think this is even the one that was pictured on Blowout, or I'm on, on Beckett. Babe Ruth, rip card. Yankees, Weaver, starting off hot. Our first hit out of our case is a Babe Ruth rip card, seven of 25. Well, let's light it up. I'm going to quickly look. I could swear that was the exact card that was shown. Let me see if I can find it. On Beckett's. Uh... Yeah. Oh, it's very close. So uh, 7 to 25 is what I have. 13 to 25. And I'll just show you real quickly. Yeah, look at that. Nice. <laughs> well, congratulations, Weaver. That is awesome. That is a great first hit. 
and my brother-in-law, Minnie, and Scarlet Macaw. I'm not going to be asking about ripping the rip cards this year. <laughs> yeah, not going to do it this time. Normally I do. I always say, always rip, always rip, but this time no. But anyways, back to luminaries. Yeah, the, the unfortunate part is I, I struggle with any product. There's an ANG back, uh, Blackman, and Kirby Puckett. Uh, any, any product where it's an expensive one card product. Now, something like Clearly Authentic or Archive Sigs, okay. That's fine by me. But if you're talking something like Dynasty or Luminaries, I don't know, man. Um, I mean, just buy the singles at that point. Canseco as a ray. Don't you dare sleep on those rays. Far, far away. Caldwell 42. There's that uh, Golden Lion Tamarin again. Same box. Well, now that means Weaver can't get the uh, non-MLB cards, though. <laughs> Sorry, Weaver. Yeah, see, and that's it. That's just it. If you don't think that a Yordan number to 10 is worth 400 bucks, don't even bother. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Brooklyn back, hand number 19 at 25, not counting this as a hit, but there we go. Alex Verdugo, 19 at 25, Red Sox. Red Sox are going to Tim M. Nice. And I'm sure I've got mini top loaders sitting over there. Getting all the good stuff out of the first box. And a black border crony. I hadn't read about um, hot boxes this year. Sometimes they do. In the past, they'd done uh, foil hot boxes. I didn't see anything about that this year. So maybe we don't get those this year. Yachty the Body Molina. Hey, John G, how you doing? Hey, Deez is here. What's going on, Deez? Good to see ya. Tatis. Angie back. And another hit. That might be an auto. Might be. We'll see. Behind Killebrew. Our next hit. Oh, there are foil hot boxes. Good, good. Next hit is mini framed. Auto Phillies. Mickey Moniac. Going to Dame Debbie. All right, this feels right now. This feels right. I'm pulling Phillies hits in an Allen and Gitcher break for Dame Debbie. I've got a Babe Ruth hit. And I've got a Brooklyn hand numbered uh, card. Yeah, this feels right. This feels right. Congrats, Dame Debbie. Unfortunately, uh, that takes you out of the running. For now, on at least that spot for non-MLB cards. Nice. Very nice. All right. So I think we're going to be ripping until about 11.30 p.m. Central. So I hope everybody uh, can hang around for a little bit. Uh, good for you. Good for you, says Christian Bale. Joe Carter. Let's get these packs over here. We've got one more hit left in box number one. 
Holy diver. Robin Yount, LQ's favorite player of all time. And that's the holy diver that I was singing about. Yeah, well, she could still get it. I think she has the White Sox. So if she hits on that, then, yep. Yeah. Then she's out. Speaking of White Sox, Giolito. I did catch the end of the White Sox-Twins game today. I was not thinking that the Twins were going to win, but... Uh, and that's just basically because, number one, they're terrible this year. Number two, they never seem to win when I'm watching. Whatever that's all about. Sarah Spain. Sandris. Glasno. Angie back. And probably have a hit in this pack, I think. Or maybe not. Can't tell. Nope, maybe not. Far, far away exoplanet. All right. Should be, unless we got shorted. Nope, we do have a hit. All right, so it looks like we've got a full-size relic coming up. Lou Brock wants to come out to play first. Thanks, Lou, for joining the party. Appreciate you. All right, final card out of box. Number one of the night. Full-size relic of... Will Myers. Camo piece for the pods. Going to Killer B. That's a nice looking. That's a nice looking relic card. I like that. That's very nice. Excellent. I'm going to see. I don't have enough hundreds. <laughs> Let's see if these will work in the 60s. If not, then I'll just have to work with the hundreds. Yes, you do. Oh, nice. All right. I'll be working with 60s mostly then instead of the hundreds. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Well, congratulations, Killer B. Box number one was an excellent box. Love it. Let's do box number two. I don't know how many more rip cards we're gonna find. <laughs> there was that one year where I think I pulled three of them. I think I pulled a single, a dual, and then a box loader triple. I think. Oversized box loader card. Much you want to bet it says congratulations on the back. Yep. So that's just how they're gonna look. Lou Bob. Louis Robert. All right, back to work. Two per case. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. Redis. Noma. Oh, I hate this picture of Honus that they use. He looks like he's 123. You know what I mean? <laughs> No, she is not helping sort. She's, uh, she's retired. What, you don't trust me? <laughs> Angie back of Mount Castle. Uh, 
I'm a one-man band over here. Black of Cal Ripken Jr. Yeah. Well, thank you for feeling bad. I get to do this two more times after tonight, so... <laughs> Uh, Delgado, Angie back, and I don't really make much money off of this either. Uh, not not to make you folks feel guilty, but uh, I, I do it to myself because this is my charity thing. So, <laughs> Alec Boom. I feel worse for you folks having to sit here and. I mean, this is going to be a snooze fest until I hit something. Um, and listening to me yammer on for four or five hours. <laughs> Triceratops. Ooh, that snuck up on me. Royals, bat chip. Sally Perez, Royals, going to Nick B. And I, I have to apologize. I Nick, I touched you right on the wood. Right on the wood I touched you there. I'm sorry about that. I, I didn't know we had a hit there. Just put my finger all over your wood. I'm so, My thumb just got right in there. Sorry about that. I, I hope you forgive me. <laughs> Royals on the board with a hit. There we go. Uh-huh. Angie back. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, man, we're still going. <laughs> we're still going. Yeah, uh, we're still raising money through uh, the 30th, I think I I, I said it at. Uh, so we got, a, we got a ways to go. We got a ways to go. But yeah, we have... Uh, we're at $10,166 so far. Goal was $10,000. Now, we're not at $10,000 if you factor in uh, the fees. Um, which are nowhere near as bad as they were last year. So I think we're actually sitting at like 9,800 something. Well, hello, LQ. Now you were just a uh, subject of a question. They're wondering, what is your excuse for not sorting this year? I don't want to. Oh, okay. Well, that's all it takes. She just doesn't want to. <laughs> I'll sort the charity. That one I will sort. I thought you were going to say, I'll sort the chairs. <laughs> well, we're already doing pretty well. So we found a Babe Ruth uh, rip card already out of oh, the first wow. box. Yeah. Who is it? Uh, Weavers. Oh, and I'm going to guess he said no. I'm not even asking this year. You're not? I'm not even uh, asking this year. Nope. I, I have... Uh, have your magnet? I've ruined the thrill for too many people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she understands that. <laughs> and we got a black frame. Mr. Anderson. Well, how are you doing, LQ? What's going on? Hey, Michael. How's the deck? Any uh, any gossip from next door? Oh, my gosh. He's calling all of his bros in Long Island. I was right, by the way, everybody. I was like, I haven't updated them on this. So, like, six months ago, I was like, I don't think the wife lives there anymore. And uh, LQ did a little sleuthing. And what did you find? I found that she's still living in that she works at, but she's no longer living there, so. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and we, we saw some other lady friend rubbing up on the husband. Yes. Uh-huh. The dog looks different, so everything's all weird over there. Well, COVID will do that to you, but... Uh, there's a guy we call Swole Boy. Swole Bro. Swole Bro. Yeah. And he's from New York, and he's going back to New York this weekend, and every night this week has been him calling his bros arranging i found out tonight that everybody's okay spending 200 to 300 dollars if they decide a piece to get bottle service and they're going to coney island in some club some puka club on saturday and some guy named big joe has a girlfriend and they're all making fun of him in the group text because no one thought he was going to have a girlfriend this guy talks so loud i have my earbuds in and <laughs> listening to date and I can still hear it. So, I, I kind of feel like we need to do like a 
<laughs> it is every day. It's so weird. Well, we've got our first non-MLB hit. It is Kelly Rangham, softball player. Yeah, who is that? Yeah. Well, someone is going to end up with that after we're done with this second box. We'll figure out who that's going to be. But that's our first non-MLB hit. I'm number one on the list. Tripping. We're talking about the same list, right? Probably. Flat cap. Hey, Jason. How's it going? I think if he was MD now. Marlon's guy? Yeah. So what are the fun things people are looking for this year? Anything? Well, we've got uh, the return of uh, DNA relics, so uh, dinosaur fossils again. Okay. That's about it. <laughs> no, I don't think they're doing that anymore. I figured you'd like that one. Yay! Right, Mount Castle. Robot. Robot, yeah. <laughs> Is that Robin in there? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I haven't seen him yet. Nope. Not gonna do it. There's another guy I'm not gonna, whose name I'm not gonna say. We've got one more hit coming up, then we'll find out who gets all the non-MLB cards from these first two boxes. Including a Rangham Relic card. Waddle. People are looking for his and uh, Lawrence's autographs. I'd be fine to pull one of them anyway. They're amazing. That's what they are. Yeah. Sharks or something, yeah. Space stuff. You know, a bunch of nerdies. Uh, birds. All right, Derek Jeter. And our final hit is coming up out of box number two. And it is... Kimbrel, who I just saw pitching for the White Sox today. Whoa. He's got long, curly hair. Yeah. Going to the Cubbies, though. Nick B, you got yourself another hit. Congratulations. Let's light it up as soon as I can find it. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. All right, LQ. Well, thank you for coming down. Hello. You come down anytime you want. Bye, everybody. Good luck. All right. Now, let's uh, go over to... All right. Go over to my spreadsheet here. Take the team board down. Pull up the screen. Everyone can follow along. Yeah, I gotta mark down Cubs, Padres, Phillies. Oh, who else did I pull? Royals and Yankees. And all of our lists tonight are going to be randomized a total of three times. Name at the top of the list on the third randomization is going to get all of the non-MLB cards, including the hit that we pulled uh, from these two boxes. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. And our winner is... Daniel M. Daniel M. So, what that means now I gotta find Daniel M's name 
Mark that down. So now you're not eligible because you just got a hit. You just got a hit. You've got the uh, the Rangham Relic Card. No, congratulations. I missed your name. What do you mean I missed your name? Did I really? Do I have to do that all over again? Well, fuck. <laughs> all right, I'm doing that all over again. Um, Daniel M., I'm sorry, you do not win the... God damn it. <laughs> you don't win the non-MLB card. I'll, I'll send you something else. I'm sorry about that. That was my mistake. Let's try that again. All right. One. Two. Now, wait a minute. There are 24 items there. How did I miss your name? No, 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 no. I got your name. I got your name. There were 24 last time. There are 24 this time again. I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind on a different device here to see if I screwed up. Sorry guys. Yep, I screwed up. All right. Um, yeah, Daniel M., I'm going to have to send you something else. My apologies on that. Thanks for pointing that out, Joe. Um, I don't know what I'm going to send you, Daniel, but uh, winner is Derek S. All right. Sorry about that, Daniel M., and I'm sorry about that, Joe. Thank you for pointing that out. That was my mistake. Um, so Daniel M, let's take that off. And Derek S, put that on, okay. Oh, did I screw up again? Should Marlon's guy not be there twice? Jason, are you here? All right, let's run it again. I'm gonna do this until I get it right. Get rid of that. All right, one, two, three, four, five hits, yeah. Okay, Kanto gets the non-MLB. Derek and Daniel, I'm going to have to send you something else because I fucked up, and I'm very sorry about that. Okay, Kanto gets the non-MLB. For sure. This time. Nick B had the Cubs. Killer B had the Padres. 
Dame Debbie had the Phillies. Nick B had the Royals. We had the Yankees. 25, yeah. And 25 items in the list, yep, yeah. okay. Sorry about that, I'm new here. All right, gonna put these away and then we'll be back with the next two boxes. All right, here comes box number three. And I'll make sure I mark down Canto so I don't screw up again. Box loader. Juan Soto. First hit is Glaber Torres for the Yankees. Yankees are already on the board for Weaver. Nice away piece for you. Congratulations, sir. That's hit number two for you on the night.
These are a lot easier to open than uh, Gypsy Queen, I'll tell you that. There's hit number two. McCutcheon for the Phillies. No, that's not an Uncle Larry hit. Uh, that's an actual Andrew McCutcheon bat chip. Congratulations, Dame Debbie. That's hit number two for the Phillies for you tonight. The great thing about having uh, multiple hits in the same spot is that uh, odds of getting those non-MLB cards are a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Just love seeing all these players who are no longer on all these teams anymore. Ooh. I feel like I've pulled that Caldwell card a few times. Hey, AJ, how you doing? Thanks for being here. Good to see ya. So, AJ, what do you normally collect? Are you into Ginter by any chance? Check something here. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Let's make sure I have the right team board up too. <laughs> Guy takes a couple weeks off and can't remember how to run a break. Damn. <laughs> Okay. Anything in particular that you PC? And there's our third hit out of the box. Another away piece for the Red Sox. Red Sox are going to Tim M, our first hit on the Red Sox tonight. Uh, we did pull a nice uh, hand-numbered uh, Brooklyn back mini for the Red Sox earlier. We don't count that as a hit, but this is the first official hit now. Uh, Jason Veritek. Coming your way, Tim M. Congratulations. Light it up and load it up for you. And all the hits are out of box number one. Oh, Brewers. Oh, you'll get along uh, get along real well with Colts. Got a... I don't, I don't think I've seen him in here tonight, but... Uh, yeah, you and Colt will get along real well. PT, how's it going? No kidding, PT Bird. Really? Okay. I know it's kind of a rarity, but I uh, back when uh, when uh, I used to sell more group breaks, I'd go Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But uh, now that I'm only capable of selling one or two breaks a week, <laughs> I've kind of cut out the Wednesdays, so been kind of looping on Mondays and Wednesdays instead, since that's uh, kind of where everyone wants to see me these days is over on loop, which is perfectly fine by me. Are ya? Nice. Final card out of box number three.
Oh, hey, wait a second now. I thought I'd pulled all of our hits. Three hits out of the first box, right? We've got another one coming up. Bonus hit. I like it. I like it. So we've got a framed mini, maybe an auto. Let's see what it is. Framed mini. Auto crook. Dame Debbie, I told you. You know we've got ourselves a ginter break going on if Dame Debbie is hitting on all cylinders with the Phillies. Yeah, look at that. Congrats Dame Debbie on the crook. Nice. Bonus hit was a John Croc auto out of box number three. Let's do box number four. Ah, an N43 box. These, these are a lot easier to ship. <laughs> Yeah, dang Debbie. Right, right. <laughs> Dylan Carlson is your N43. Yeah, what is it with those fish cards anyway? That is a good question. What is it with those fish cards? What's the deal with those fish cards? And that's probably the worst Jerry Seinfeld impression anyone has ever done. <laughs> or ever will do. All right, box number four. Here it is. Are we going to get a hit out of the first pack and a hit out of the last pack again? Probably not out of the first pack. All right, unless we got a super secret something or other. Good for you, asparagus. Hey, I don't mind asparagus. It's... <laughs> Chris D, what do you know about Alan and Ginter? Are, are you familiar with uh, Alan and Gidget? Suppose I should take your question seriously instead of being a, a jerk about it. <laughs> that is kind of my, my... I told you everyone this morning that I'm feeling sassy, so... has been available for a week now. Because uh, sometimes they uh, release um, retail ahead of hobby. Oh, no kidding. McGriff, the crime dog. I don't leave uh, the cardboard sanctuary at Crack and Wax Manor unless it's uh, Crack and Wax related. So uh, I have not been in a Target in what seems like years now. So or Walmart for that matter. So I I only knew that blasters were out because other people were posting uh, their finds. But yeah, sometimes uh, sometimes Tops and Panini like to do that. Put out uh, some of the retail skews first. Sometimes uh, they get uh, put out accidentally before they're supposed to. But and our first hit out of box number four, Nico for the Cubbies going to Nick B. Another Cubs hit for you. Nice little pinstripe piece. You know how much I like it when it's not just a plain picnic napkin, right?
congrats again, Nick B. And he's still a cub. <laughs> oh, no kidding. Just out of four blasters. Wow, that is insanely good luck. Well done. I can't recall the last time I pulled a hit out of a, uh, of a blaster. Aegon's was actually my first auto out of a blaster. That was years back. That was a lucky pull. Oh, is that right? Okay. So Alan and Ginter uh, was produced uh, independently uh, as a tobacco co uh, company's insert. Uh, in the late 1800s. And uh, Tops being Tops said, hey, you know what would be a great idea? Let's take this old tobacco card design and let's make it our own. And when did they start doing that? 06? Something like that? I think this is the 15th uh, set of Allen and Ginter. Um, and and the Allen and Ginter tobacco cards from uh, the original tobacco cards from the 1800s were literally world's champions cards. And then they would have, like, you know, pictures of animals, like birds and elephants and stuff like that. So uh, Topps does a decent job of recreating kind of that feel while making it an MLB product. And that drives MLB collectors freaking loopy. I don't know that any set gets more complaints than Allen and Ginter does. But that's why the fish. That's why the fish. Because it's they're just staying true. Kind of true. Not all the way true, but kind of true to the, uh, the purpose of the originals. I think it's fun. I also think they could do <laughs> they could do a little better job with some of these designs. Now the backs haven't changed, and that's fine by me. I don't mind that at all. And another hit's coming up. And we have another framed mini. This time we've got. Another auto, Jeff Garland, one of LQ's favorites. So we've got another non-MLB hit. This is going to be awarded to one of our non-hitters after this box is done. Jeff Garland. I'm very happy to have pulled this one, personally. I've never seen a man walk around in tidy whities more than I've seen this guy. <laughs> Walking around in tidy whities Nice! Well, congrats to somebody pretty soon. Uh, he's an actor. He's uh, He plays the dad in The Goldbergs. I knew I was going to finally lose one. Landed on its face, though. And I lost him again. What the hell, Basabi? This is not funny. <laughs> there we go. Trying to keep my mini stacks semi sorted.
Neon Deion Sanders. An ultimate pack of box number four. <laughs> yeah, there's a card of a hat. <laughs> you gotta love it. All right, final pack. Do we have a hit in our final pack? Turns out we do. By Jove. We do. What do we have? Behind Randall Cunningham, we have another bat chip. This time it's Alfonso Soriano. Cubbies again! Another Cubbies hit for Nick B. Nick B with all these hits is making it very possible for someone to uh, end up with non-MLB cards, including this Jeff Garland that we just pulled. As long as I don't screw up the randomization this time. <laughs> All right, team board going away. Here comes the screen. I'm going to make absolutely sure that I've got everyone marked down that I should uh, have marked down. So Kanto was marked down because he got the non-MLB hit in the last round. So I've got Cubs. Phillies for sure I've got. Red Sox, do I have marked down yet? No, let's mark down the Red Sox. Okay, good. Phillies, yes. Yankees, yes. And then the hits from the previous box. All right, perfect. Perfect. Now let's make sure we choose all of the names that are... <laughs> all right, all of our lists tonight are being randomized three times. Name at the top of the list. On the third randomization wins all the non-MLB cards from boxes three and four, which you just saw. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. And our winner is... Now let me check the chat room to see if I... Did I miss anything? <laughs> Okay, I don't think I missed it. All right, here we go. Winner is Marlins guy. Marlins guy, you got yourself all the non MLB cards, including this beautiful Jeff Garlanato. Congratulations, sir. All right, we're gonna put these away and I'll be back with boxes five and six. Hang tight. I would say this is an excellent case so far. Four boxes in. Now, as far as checklists go, this isn't the strongest Ginter checklist I've ever seen. It's a little, it's kind of, eh, it's okay, it's okay, but I think we're doing well. I think we're doing pretty well. And you know what, actually, Chris? Um, there's a reason why I decided to randomize the non-MLB cards uh, in this break. Uh, it's because they are actually sought after. Like, I could charge 150 to 200 bucks uh, in a PYT of just not MLB. Not only because it dominates the checklist, like I would say about a quarter of the content is all non MLB and non MLB hits. Jason S got himself a nice autograph out of that. Nice. And I didn't mess it up this time. Yay! <laughs> Oh, and I need some more top loaders. Oh, we're not gonna start with box uh, five just yet. Oh, 
All right, Hundos, where are you? I did I hate you today. You're not Hundos. What are you? You're tea bags, don't need you. What are you? You're 140s now. I didn't ask for you. What are you? 190s, no. What are you? There we go, Hundos. Yay, let's take out a couple. Get prepared. All right, who's having a good time? I'm having a good time. Crack open. Need a little ASMR here. Here we go. Who doesn't love that? Yeah, that's, that's a good sound. What, and what, what am I doing? Oh, just, just some more top loaders. That's all. That's all. Everyone's favorite noise. <laughs> or not. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here comes box number five out of Alan Ginter. Yeah, we we're almost halfway there. Good case so far. Started off the night right with a Babe Ruth. Rip card number to 25. And we've just been trucking along since. Oversized box loader coming up out of box number five. Congratulations. Uh, you've received a card of Tatis. There you go. Tatis. Right there. Well, what do you know about that? Don't forget, you can still grab teams in PYT number two. That is a full case break. We're going to run it the exact same way. Randomize the non-MLB uh, cards every two boxes. Cracklemax.com slash shop. We've got like eight or nine teams left to pick from. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Just watch where that thumb is going, though, okay? <laughs> Mr. Huff... And pack number one. This has been happening. Now, Nick. <laughs> Are we pulling every single cub on the checklist for you? Is this what's happening, Nick? I think it is. Every single cub on the checklist is coming your way. Congratulations, Nick. Yeah, oh, hey, the cubs. <laughs> Nick B is turning into the the new Dame Debbie of Allen and Ginter, right? Thanks, AJ. I've I've never done that before, and I, I figured, you know what? That might make things a little interesting. And well, here we are. Now it's it's what's going to be even more interesting is uh, making sure I don't screw up the the, the sorting. <laughs> I already uh, messed up the randomizing of the uh, box. Well, boxes one and two. But we got her all figured out. Ooh. Oh, we're going chunky style. Hit number two already coming up. We got a thick boy coming up. I think we got ourselves a dual rip card. I think we got a dual ripper. Yeah, we do. Rip card number two out of this case. It's a dual rip. We've got... Yep, double rip. Oh! Canto! Maybe. We'll see. Look at that. Look at that. 6 to 25. Oh, baby. Who's on the other side? Oh, Andre Dawson. Canto, congratulations on the dual rip card. Of course, Expo's going to that Nats spot. That is awesome. That is awesome. Let's light that one up. I got it. Wasn't even considering that we would need a 130, but let me get a 130 over here. That is great. Canto, I wish you were here. I know it's not a Juan Soto autograph. I know you've been 
I keep pulling his auto, just when, not when, when when you're in the break. But <laughs> six to twenty-five, Vlad Senior and the Hawk, dude. Double rip card. Normally I ask, you want me to rip it for you, but uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take that away from you. Yeah. All right, let's continue on. Kanto and his dad actually used to stop by the chat room quite a bit. Haven't seen really either one of them for a while. Hope they're doing okay. So I was checking over uh, releases because uh, I had been mentioning that Prism Baseball and WNBA Prism is supposed to be out Friday. WNBA Prism got pushed back to the 25th now, but Prism Baseball is still due out Friday. Um, hopefully, I'll have a couple of boxes in hand uh, for next week. Probably going to loop at least one of those boxes. I know the Panini products aren't that popular uh, for group breaks here at Crack and Wax. But people do like it. People do like Prism Baseball. I just need to find out where they are. <laughs> snapback. Oh, my favorite snapback cap is the Crack and Wax snapback cap. Which you can find at crackandwax.com slash shop. Three different varieties. My favorite is the Navy and Red Bill. So Navy hat, Red Bill. Oh, we got ourselves another hit coming up. Looks like. I think. I think. Do we? Yeah. All right. Another hit coming up. Hit number three is on its way behind Kiermaier. Away piece, Yankees, Weaver already on the board. You got yourself a CC Sabathia away piece. Congrats, Weaver. Yankees with a ton of content on the checklist, but I'm sure this is not exactly what you were hoping for, but uh, congratulations, sir. Three hits out of the box already. Angie back of Simon Baker. It is possible that we have a fourth one coming. Okay, I've pulled this like four or five times, so uh, the reason I'm paying attention to that, because that, that kind of, oh, there's that Uncle Larry card, that kind of tells me um, how many copies of all the base cards we're going to get uh, will be, and that kind of helps inform me what the print run was like, so if there, um, if there were like 12 copies, then the print run was freaking enormous. <laughs> with a short checklist. Or they just uh, didn't produce a ton of cases. But I, you know they did. You know they did. All right, can Christopher be done with this case before 11 p.m. Dude's got to eat, man. I, I skipped dinner because I'm like, case is here. All right, let, we're doing this. <laughs> let's quick get the graphics made. Let's get everything set up. Let's get the email sent out. Got the cats fed, <laughs> but not myself, not myself. Come on, there we go. Uh, 
former Cub, Rizzo. Yeah, that is a good looking card. That is a good looking card. It would probably look even better with a little ink on it. But what do I know? I think uh, Joe Mama would agree. <laughs> Wouldn't you, Joe Mama? World Leader Mini. I think that's the first one of those I've seen. <laughs> I figured you would. I figured you might, Joe. See, there's a damn card again. There it is again. Twice in the same box, even. So who knows? Who even knows anymore? Hey, Fieldy. What's up, Reed? How you doing today? Yes, it'll happen one day, and then you'll disappear. You'll never be back again, because... <laughs> No, I, 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 I really hope so, man. I really hope so. Reed, your break isn't full yet, so we'll we'll get to your break. Um, I think there are like eight or nine teams left. That's probably gonna end up happening next week, I would assume. Uh, yeah, Jason, uh, you landed yourself a pretty solid card. How did you get in a break? I put you in the break, man. I put you in the break. Didn't you see my personal, re uh, uh, personal message? You go to crackamax.com, make sure you're logged in, hover your uh, your mouse, if you're on desktop, over community, and then click on uh, private messaging, and you'll see that I sent you a private message. I bet you folks might not have even know we had that feature on our website. You can private message other members of Crack and Wax. Yeah, there should be a, a foil box, a foil hot box. And no hit in the final pack. So there had been hits in the final pack, but not this time. Not this time. And that was box number five. With a CC, a double rip card of Vlad Sr. and the Hawk. And Derek Lee, pinstripe. All right. Box number six coming at you. Uh, Canseco is with the Rays in, uh, on the checklist on this one. Yeah. And I think the Rays might still be available. People are... I think the Rays were the last team taken in this break. Everyone was sleeping on the Rays. And what do I tell everyone? Don't sleep on the Rays. Don't sleep on the Rays. World's largest blown up going to the non-MLB spot. Whoever gets that, White Rhino. That I'm going to actually put uh, over here. Because that might go to somebody else. We'll see. We'll see. All right, box number six. What do you got? What do you got? Hey, it's our foil box. We were just talking about you, foil box. Hot box coming up now. It's just the base cards, not the inserts, not the minis. But here you go. That'll, that'll help fill out your PC if you're a team collector. 
or a player collector. One last thing for you to chase, or one less thing for you to chase. Unless I couldn't pull it for you, then chase away. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. It's not the entire card. It's just the inset that's foiled out. I think that looks nice, though. I like how that turned out. Yeah, man. And it's the one that LQ was hoping I'd pull. Number one, Picnic Napkin for the Royals. Ben Benintendi, Royals, already on the board. Nick B, again. Nick B, are you just, like, dominating this, uh, this case or what? Man. <laughs> Nick, I don't know if, have, have we pulled an auto for you, though, yet, Nick? I think you've just gotten all relics to this point, right? I think. Could be wrong. That would never happen, though, right? Congrats again, Nick B. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, and my ding just went off. Someone bought a team in the next PYT. I'll have to check that out. Thank you, whoever that was. Very nice of you. Oh, it was Chris D. Thank you, Chris. Chris ain't sleeping on those rays, and you shouldn't. I, I keep telling people not to sleep on the rays. No one listens to me. They just. But Chris D. Not sleeping on the rays. Thank you. Appreciate it. So I noticed the other day when I was trying to fix my website, because, uh, as you know, it melted down for a couple weeks, um, <laughs> that suddenly uh, you can pay with Venmo. Has anyone tried that yet? I'm curious to know how that works. Like, does the Venmo get deposited into to my PayPal account? I just don't know. Well, I thought it was interesting that that popped up. And I was like, was that why my website has been being a butt? <laughs> Polly moly. Yeah, if you do, let me know how that works out. I'm very, very curious. Because um, it didn't ask me to set up a Venmo, a Venmo account of my own. So, I don't have one. <laughs> so, I, I would very much like to know where that money goes. Because <laughs> it might just be floating out there in, in crypto limbo. Hey, David Boy Smith is here. Hello, sir. How you doing today? World leaders. David got in just in time to... Oh, boy. What do we have here? All right. Well, he got in on time not only to see our foil box, but we got ourselves a nice hit coming up, I think. I think. Yeah. 
All right, I'm very curious. Sitting down, probably got your stogie and your, uh, and your bourbon, I'm sure, right? That's what I'd be doing. Okay. Next hit behind Donnie Baseball. This could be low numbered. Don't know what it is yet. Eight of 25. Rookie. Auto. Joe Adele. Angels. Joe Mama. Hey, it's not uh, Mike Trout, but man, this will do. This will do. It's not a. I wouldn't sub him out. I wouldn't substitute. But you got yourself a nice low numbered framed mini auto. Joe Adele, 8 of 25. Nice. Congrats, Joe Mama. Tell me what you think about that, sir. There we go. Sweet. Well, you can uh, you can blame David for that. You know, he walked into the chat room and, and he made that happen just by being here. <laughs> it might have been a trout if he hadn't come in. Next hit is Brewers, Corbin Burns, alternate jersey. Brewers going to Adrian. AJ, is that you? Your first break here. You got yourself a nice navy blue relic piece of a damn good pitcher. I've got him on my fantasy team, actually. He's pretty much the only guy besides Tatis that actually gets me any points. <laughs> Congratulations, Adrian. I was telling AJ, he did, uh, since he's a, he PCs the Brewers, he would get along real well with Colt. What do you think, folks? Think he'd get along well with Colt? Someone get Colt in here. In in introduce him to AJ. <laughs> Best friends, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Marcus Stroman. Penultimate pack of box number six. And final pack, box number six. 
Here we go. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure Colt is very happy about that as well. And there we go. That's box six in the books. We were halfway through the break. What did we get out of boxes five and six? Yeah, we did pretty well. We we did okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We did nice. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right, gonna take down the team board. Let's pull up the screen and let's mark down our next uh, bunch of hits here. All right, let's see. Gotta mark down the Brewers. Gotta mark down the Angels. Sorry, Joe Mama, I'm not gonna select you this time for sure. Uh, Royals have already been entered, so is the Yankees. Uh, yep, got them there and the Cubbies. Now, who I did not mark down was Jason S. from last time. So let me find one of Jason's teams and mark him down. Since he did get a non-MLB hit from the last uh, round of boxes, he's still eligible with that other one, though. But uh, all of these folks are now eligible for all non-MLB cards in boxes five and six. All of our lists tonight are going to be randomized three times. The name at the top of the list on third randomization wins all the non-MLB cards from boxes five and six. There were no non-MLB hits this time around, though. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. And winner of all the non-MLB cards from boxes five and six are, or is, Dino. Congratulations, Dino. I'm just sorry that there was no hit. And that does it for boxes five and six. I'm gonna put this away. When we come back, we'll start the second half of the 2021 Tops Allen Ginter Full Case PYT. Hang tight, folks. Tops Chrome next week. Who's pumped? Who's excited? Who's uh, who's saving up their uh, <laughs> all the money that they made selling cards at the Nat? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I hate that, man. I'm so sorry about that. That is... That's crappy, dude. That is really crappy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean to, to laugh about it. All right, let me see how I'm doing on my beverage here. I might need another one. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good to go. Okay, good. Everyone doing well? Are we uh, ready to get going on the second half? Uh, you know, we I'm probably more of a Goldberg fan. Uh, she does like Curb Your Enthusiasm. I tried watching it with her. Uh, couldn't get past the first episode. And uh, I'm like that with a lot of shows. If I can't make it past the first episode, it ain't happening. Like uh, with Game of, uh, of Thrones, um, uh, Dame Debbie tried to get us on Game of Thrones, and mm, yeah, we we actually did like three episodes. Nope, 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 nope. 
But then everyone says, everyone says, just keep watching. <laughs> you found a Stadium Club Schwarzenegger one of one. Oh, Schwarber one of one. Schwarber one. Yeah, Always Sunny. That's one of those where I just have to watch random episodes and not in order, and, and it's fine. All right, here comes box number seven and the second half of what has been so far an excellent case of 2021 Tops, Allen and Ginter. At least I think so. And box litter in box number seven is a big one. Don't just stand there. Yes, I realize I stole that joke from someone else. I know. I'm a jerk. Everyone knows that by now, though, I hope. <laughs> Everybody knows. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it, too. So we pulled our single rip card, we pull our double rip card. Do we have a triple hiding somewhere now? Dame Debbie. Well, we pulled a Jeff Garland auto. Yeah. You missed our foil box. You missed a, a Joe Adele 8 of 25 black frame for Joe Mama. This has been a good case. It's been a very good case. Now, what I really want to see is a book card. I know I'm getting greedy, but I like to be able to pull some good stuff for our wax crackers, you know? Ah, who am I kidding? I, I pack out all my own packs and boxes. Everybody knows this. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, wood. Well, whatever is inside the rip card uh, goes to the person who owns the rip card, regardless of what it is. Um, but I'm not ripping this year. I'm not even going to ask. I, I, I've done that for years and years and years, and there's just been too much heartbreak, <laughs> too much heartbreak with me ripping the rip card. So I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. It's going to send the rip cards intact. All right, uh, Dame Debbie is going to have to start PC and Cruck with all the Cruck cards I've been pulling for tonight. <laughs> Double rip card means there are two mini cards within one card with two areas that you can rip on the card. That's why it's a double rip card. So the only way to get those two cards out is if you double rip. Dame Debbie once let me, I think it was Dame Debbie let, uh, once let me uh, rip open her double rip card and I felt terrible after. I just, it felt like, uh, <laughs> kind of felt like a bad one night stand. <laughs> I was ashamed, I felt empty. And I just wanted to, to leave. <laughs> All right, we got hit number one out of box number seven. Mm, bop. Man, first hit out of box number seven is another bat chip. This time, it's of the crime dog, Fred McGriff. For the Barves and Andy C. I always misremember that, Dame Debbie. I don't know why. I, it's because I've had uh, some mental scarring 
uh, with ripping open some of those rip cards. I just, it's too painful. Just too painful to remember correctly. Andy C, congratulations on the crime dog, Bat Chip. I don't know why we've been pulling so much bat, uh, so much lumber, but I'm not complaining. I am definitely not complaining. I'd take that over a picnic napkin any day. Hey, Matt Cunningham, how you doing today? Thanks for being here. Well, I, I ripped somebody's double. I know for sure I ripped somebody's duel, and it was, yeah, not good times. Maybe it was Vilmar or somebody let me do it, and... <laughs> as much as I enjoyed ripping them open it was kind of fun though uh, knowing that I had a mini uh, metal card inside one of the rip cards uh, you could tell because number one was rattling around number two stuck a magnet right to it it was fun so those metal cards are uh, numbered to three so they're kind of hard to find obviously if they're numbered to three Now, I believe the stained glass minis are only found in the triple rip cards. And the glossy one of ones. I don't know if they're loose in packs or if they are rip cards only. Another world leader mini. Order of Herman Marquez. Now, if I do packs of this on loop, I'm really hoping that I can do them for like 13 a pack or 22 for two packs, something like that. It really depends on what I can get and what I can get it for. But uh, I'm devoting all the cases that I'm getting into uh, full case PYTs and the charity break that uh, that case that uh, Dead P is donating here. Obviously that's what I'm using it for. And that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. But yeah, I'm just remembering pain and heartache, you know. That's 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 all I'm remembering. Oh, there goes my ding! Once again! And another freaking Cubs hit! Nick B! Nick B, you you <laughs> You selfish bastard! You got yourself a boat away jersey. Oh, hey, it's the Cubs again. How about that? Oh, what do you know? It's the Cubs. <laughs> Congrats again, Nick B. Nick B is this year's Dame Debbie, uh, as far as this, this particular case goes. I'm going to have to start increasing the price of the Cubs spot, I think, if that's how it's going to be. Really? <laughs> spread it around! Spread it around! World's largest African elephant. <laughs> Apparently it is. You're just going to get napkins and away pieces have you have you at least gotten a bat chip out of this so far i can't remember probably probably 
Well, you did get a pinstripe. I think it was the it was your first hit was a pinstripe or something. It's probably the closest to an auto you're gonna get. You're gonna be able to make yourself a nice uh, actual picnic napkin, I think, uh, when we're done with this. getting to that point where I'm having a hard time gripping the cards because uh, I don't know if you, you're noticing the, the Ginter powder <laughs> it's uh, lacing my breaker mat I have to start calling it my card mat though I, I'm trying to uh, I don't know I don't like being called a breaker anymore as I've decided there's, there's such a stigma with being called a breaker these days What's wrong with the Cubs losing? This guy's getting all the hits. Who cares? <laughs> Penultimate pack of box number seven. We've got one hit left to go, too, I believe. Almost, almost lost you. There we go. There we go. Last pack. Last pack. Card Smith. <laughs> like the Poop Smith. And we do have a, another framed something or other. Possibly an auto. Looks like it's going to be a parallel. We'll see. We'll see. I'm pulling a lot more ink tonight than I really thought I was going to as well. So if this is another auto, I'm going to be very surprised. And happy, by the way. We got a framed... Mini. Is it a... Maybe it's one of those cloth cards. I haven't pulled one of those in a while. Oh, it's a relic. Okay. And it's a bat chip. White Sox. The Big Hurt. All right. There you go. Dame Debbie on the board with both of her teams. Well, she won't be getting any non-MLB cards now. Congrats, uh, congratulations again, Dame Debbie. There we go. Box seven is in the books. Need another swig of my beer. So tonight, uh, LQ went out yesterday and got me a 12 pack of Blue Moon. So what I'm slugging tonight. Strangely enough, it's still cold. All right, box number eight. Here we go. Here we go. No sep. I like that. No sep. Now, how, how are we going to work that in to our vernacular here at Crack and Wax? You know, like the barbs and the giants and the... <laughs> and all the other dumb crap I say all the time. <laughs> Okay, here comes the box loader. We've got another N43. Alex Bergman. That's not as no sep as the big hurt bat chip. Now, how old is that going to get if I keep saying that? People are going to be like, what does he mean? It's gonna be a lot like, hey, you know you got the Giants spelled wrong on your team board. Do I? Oh, crap. Where were you when I was spell checking this stuff? All right, box number eight. Let's do this. Let's do this like bloated. All right, Patrick. What? We have got another foil box. How is that even possible? I thought this was one per case. 
I've never seen more than one per case. Patrick, thank you so much for doing that, by the way. You have yourself a great night. All right, so I guess we're doing two foil uh, boxes in this case. Somebody oopsied at tops, which isn't a surprise. <laughs> hey, Greg, how's it going, man? Greg's here to see us rip open our second foil box. Weird. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. That just means uh, somebody's got a case that doesn't even have a foil box. Working, working, working. Yeah, I'm at work too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at me hard at work over here. Putting in that sweat equity. Yeah, this yeah, this is a pleasant tops mistake. Yeah, we'll, we'll gladly not complain about this one. <laughs> damn card again. I don't know why that one sticks out to me the most. Uh, Geo Urshula is our first hit out of box number eight. Another away piece this time for uh, the Yankees. Weaver with another Yankees hit. Congratulations, my friend. Now, too bad these weren't also foil parallels. Oh, well. Somebody write a letter. Congrats, Weaver! Yeah, they they usually do something. Uh, it's usually foil. Can't remember if they've ever done full glossy boxes. I don't think they did full. Maybe they did. Remember that one year they had the uh, glossy cards? Uh, they were one on one glossy cards, full size, hidden in the lids, like in the tops of the lids. So people were just like cutting through. That's why I've been cutting at the bottom, just in case. Um, I don't think these lids will have them because they're the pop up tops. But uh, yeah, Brent from Brett and Becca was the one who discovered it. And he had a bunch of his cards that were just sliced through because he was cutting the tops and a bunch of one on ones down the drain. I actually pulled, I was lucky enough to find one in my case. Um, we did just the one case that year that had them. And I found the Babe Ruth, which happened to be the big uh, the big chase on the glossy cards that year. Um, I can't remember who ended up with it, but they, they ended up selling it for quite a bit of money. <laughs> hey, Ryan, how you doing? Yeah, I know. And that's... That sucks, but but if you look in my videos, uh, I actually found uh, a mini one of one in uh, Gypsy Queen a few years back. I don't think a lot of people knew that Gypsy Queen had them too. So if you if you look through my videos, um, gosh, was it 2019 or 2018? I can't remember which it was, but uh, yeah, I was just like, I'm like I'm. I just did a case of this. I'm about to throw out the garbage. Like, the, the garbage was literally coming uh, down the street. And I'm like, nah, let's not throw this away just yet. I'm going to look through these boxes. And yeah, sure as hell, one of the boxes had a damn uh, mini sitting inside of the lid. So glad that I didn't throw that away. I'm trying to have fun, you know? <laughs> this is actually a good case, though. This has actually been a good case. That ha that helps. This is a hell of a lot better than that uh, case of Gypsy Queen I did a few, a few weeks back. Oh, that was a bummer to open. Wrappers were so tight and hard to open. Damage on the almost every pack. But 
this, this has been fun. This has been good. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I think all across the board, I've heard that other people saying the same thing. Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's time to play a little game that I like to call Call Your Shot. Don't make your guesses just yet. I have a whole spiel to do. I have a whole spiel to do. Let me get through first. All right, first person to correctly guess the redemption wins a random prize. Yes, you must have an account at cracklemax.com just in case your prize ends up being wax bucks. Okay, now let me get through my spiel. I'll let you know when it's time to go. All right. Everyone gets one guess and one guess only. And that's it. No more than one guess. The first person to make, uh, to correctly guess what that redemption is, is going to win a prize. We're going to be using this chat room and no one else's chat room to determine who made the guess before the other person. That's important because there are instances when multiple people guess the same person or the same player on the redemption. So if this person guessed player A, and that person guessed player B, but this person guessed player A, and player A was correct, well, then that person gets the prize, not this one. Got it? Cool. One guess only. If you happen to make multiple guesses, I'm only taking your first guess. All right. Are we ready? We're going to let you have until the clock at the bottom right-hand corner reads 836 to make your guesses. And go! Yachty the Body Molina. Ooh, a Trout Otani duel. Lavelle. You're going with Bomb. Okay. Oh, Akers. Okay. Ah, Joey. Oh, wait. No, never mind. I thought you. I thought someone else already said Akers. I was gonna be like, no, Joey, not again. That seems to happen to you so often, Joey. <laughs> Vladdy, hey, Ed, what's going on? See, this game, this game will get people out of the woodworks. If they weren't chatting yet. All right, it's 8.36. Any last second guesses? <laughs> Yamamoto Tatis. Anybody else? Vaughn, all right. Lou Bob, okay. Anybody else? All right, we're cutting it off. No more guesses. Guesses are closed. All right, let's pull up that team board number one because it is a hit. Okay, here we go. Congratulations. You are due to receive A. Autograph, full-size card. Okay, okay. None of that mini crap. Oh! Michelle Akers, Joey! Joey! Oh, that's awesome. And it's a non-MLB, I think. Let me double check. Uh, the checklist. Maybe that's, uh, no, that's Giants, right? Oh, no, that is non-MLB. Non-MLB that is. Okay, so someone is going to end up with this. Uh, and Joey gets a prize. Good job, Joey. Now... Here comes the wheel. Now, what Joey doesn't know, though, is uh, the punishment prize is still on the wheel. <laughs> Joey. 
You could get punished for all of your hard work. Are you ready, Joey? We're still we're still doing Rackfest as well, by the way. So he could you could end up with Rackfest. All right, let's give that wheel a spin. Let's see what Joe Mama is going to win for a great guess. Michelle Akers, how did you do that? All right, here we go. Ah, Hunter Wax Bucks. That's not a punishment. Well, it's close. <laughs> it's not a punishment prize. Joey, congratulations. Good guess. We'll load that up for you later on. And uh, maybe maybe, uh, maybe you can spend it on another Joe Adele on him. <laughs> congratulations, sir. All right, let's, let's move along. Let's get back to the break here. I really need someone to hit that punishment prize. I've, I've been... Ugh, dang it. Davey Garcia doesn't want to sit still. Um, I've been sitting on the second punishment... Or actually, no, it is the, the second actual punishment prize. I, we've had the punishment prize like five times, but only one of them has been an actual punishment. But I've been sitting on punishment prize number two for a while. And, and I also have punishment prize number three and four waiting. So someone has got to get punished soon here. I, I'm... <laughs> All right, Greg, you have a good night. Take it easy. Take care. And we'll see you at the, uh, see you at the next. Uh, I can't talk. We'll see you at the next one. Mascots in real life. No, that will not be going to the Cubs. That's not MLB. <laughs> I think Nick B has enough. <laughs> oh, wait. Bianca Smith, baseball coach. Okay. So that might be one of those instances where it's actually, yep, that's actually Red Sox. Okay, that's one of those where I was I was ready to put that in the in the non MLB pile, but yeah, that is actually Red Sox. If you check on the checklist, it's Red Sox. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's weird. Well, I don't know. That is so weird. That is so weird. I, I really don't know. I, I... Naturally, naturally. I'm kind of wondering if that should have just gone uh, on, on the Phillies part of the checklist. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it looks like we got ourselves another non-MLB hit. Uh, someone's going to end up with two hits out of this. No need to pull up the team board just yet because I already know. Because it's football. Yeah. I, I don't see too many baseball players playing football moments. We've got Blyer, Pittsburgh Steelers. Now this memorabilia contained in this card is not from any specific year or event. So we don't know what this is. We have no idea what that is. But uh, whoever gets the non-MLE cards in this portion of the break 
Gonna get themselves a Rocky Blyer something or other, relic card, and a Michelle Akers Redemption. So there. There you go. Hey, Trey, what's up? Hell yes. Uh, this case is miles better than Gypsy Queen. Yeah, way better. This is actually my second foil uh, hot box out of the case. Uh, if that tells you anything. Top screwed up in a good way for us this time. <laughs> Final pack out of box number eight, and then we will find out who gets the non-MLB cards from this round. And there we go. All right, and uh, just as a reminder, out of boxes seven and eight, we found ourselves a Michelle Akers Redemption, Rocky Blyer Relic, Geo Ursula Away Piece, Big Hurt Bat Chip, I'm on a boat, and McGriff the Crime Dog by a Bat Chip. Not bad. All right, pulling up the screen. Let's mark down our new hits. Uh, the non MLBs, of course, won't be counted. Yankees are already there. White Sox need to be marked down. Cubs, of course, have already been. <laughs> and the Braves. Okay. All these folks are now eligible for the non-MLB cards, including the two non-MLB hits that we just pulled out of this one box. All of our lists tonight are being randomized three times. Name the top list of the third randomization. Wins all the non-MLB cards from boxes seven and eight. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. And our winner is... Greg B. Greg B got a couple of good hits out of this. And of course, now we're gonna have to mark you down. You are no longer eligible with that spot for uh, remaining non-MLB cards. Mark you down there, there we go. Nice, congratulations. All right, gonna put these away and we'll be back in just a couple of minutes with boxes nine and 10. Just as I'm walking away, my dick goes off again. Thank you very much, whoever that was. Oh, is he really? I mean, I don't like the guy, but well, he is a triple crown winner. Whatever. Whatever, man. I suppose you still like him because he used to be with the Marlins, huh? Just my guess. Ah, all right. I'm out of beer now. <laughs> Four boxes left and I'm out of beer. That could be dangerous. All right, we all set to go. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? I think we're ready. Let's do this. Time for box number nine. And this has been a great case. And uh, 
having a lot of fun. Glad we got to do this tonight. This is kind of last minute because uh, Case got here at the last minute. <laughs> but uh, we're having a good time, and I'm very, very happy with what uh, we ended up with so far tonight with four boxes still to go. This feels like a triple rip card. I don't know if it is, but it feels like it might be. Let's find out. Speaking of having a great case. Oh, it is. Oh. Dame Debbie. Dame Debbie. 26 of 99. Luis Robert triple rip card. I have no top loader for this though, hun. So I will, of course, do my best to ship this uh, to you so it does not get ruined. But damn! Oh, I'm not touching it. No, I'm not even going to ask. Well, wait. What if LQ ripped it? Would you give her? Yeah. <laughs> what would you let LQ rip it? Would you let LQ rip one of them? Just one of them. All right. I I don't know how much better we could do. Um, and I'd, I'd, I'd hate to tempt fate by asking for more. We've... Oh, you... Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Andrew over LQ it is. I see. Okay, the lines have been drawn. LQ, and I don't, I don't know if you're watching or listening, but uh, Dame Debbie has made her choice. She's chosen Andrew over you. <laughs> as she should. <laughs> All right, let's get this officially underway. Box number nine. Oh, it's not a foil box. I'm so sad. Okay. Proof. G back. So, mom, if you're watching, hello. <laughs> she told me the other day. Uh, she's like, I can't find you on YouTube. Well, I haven't been on. So, if you found me, hello, mom. She might not be watching. Uh, these uh, these longer videos get to be a bit much. <laughs> even for her. Even listening to her own son. Oh, you poor thing. You poor thing. So we did find a single rip, a dual rip, a triple rip, a hand-numbered Brooklyn back mini, a black frame to 25 auto, a Michelle Akers redemption, two foil boxes. What are we grading this case so far? We, we're not even done. What are we grading this? Are we, are we feeling... Slabbed and graded, are we feeling top loader? Are we feeling binder? How about shoebox or bicycle spoke? Remember those old, those old uh, grading levels I used to, to use for product reviews? Well, which level are we on this case? I, so far, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards top loader just because we're not done with the case yet. <laughs> but this is, this is feeling very 
very slabbed and grated to me. Oh, we got a hit coming in. I was like, what is that? That's a little stiff back there. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, behind Gonzalez. Hit number two on oh, this box is another non MLB hit. Jeff Carlson, the actor. Uh, it was uh, Red Sox, I think. I can't remember who it was. Well, this is going to go to somebody in a little bit. Don't know who it is just yet. We'll find that out momentarily. It's not a cub, by the way. <laughs> if that matters to anybody. Bob and G back. Tell me with the twins. I like that. I like that. That's good choice. Good choice there. Well done, Tops. So <laughs> it's a nice case, but but it, it won't be it won't be like S tier until we pull a Jazz Auto or a Griffey Relic for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. What really? Ricky love Ricky. Oh, good for you. Actually, this isn't that great for you. I, how many times I hear, don't drink grapefruit juice after eating that or taking this medicine or if you're on this and that. Not like he's asking for a Griffiano, yeah, okay. You know, I'm. I would like to see. I mean, if it's if it's not too much to ask, I would like to see a book card coming out out of this case. You know, not that we have <laughs> already seen too much good stuff already, but uh, you know, I got goals, man. I've got. <laughs> Some people say I set my bar a little too high, but. Uh, Got another hit coming. Another one coming. All right. Hit number three. Because yes, I am. I am counting that Lou Bob triple rip as a hit. All right. We've got. Is it another non MLB hit? It is not. It's Yankees Luis Severino picnic napkin Weaver with another hit. There's a guy I think who's ready for an autograph. Weaver, congratulations. And if you're liking this case, we do have a few teams left in PYT number two. Just go to cracklemax.com slash shop. Link is posted at the top of the YouTube chat room. 
It will not be breaking that one tonight, but uh, let's get it filled anyway. Let's fill her up. Don't let me forget to do the randoms uh, for the charity break, by the way. I'll take care of that after we're done with this break. Tyler Glasnow. Birds of a feather. Doing stuff together. Giggity. No, Chestnut. Uh, that's like the one thing we haven't... Besides, that and uh, Carado are the only things we basically haven't seen yet out of this. This has been a ridiculously good case. A little bit too good. I, I'm actually a little suspicious. Like, I'm kind of worried about the next couple of cases, <laughs> to be honest. How you doing tonight, Chestnut? Hey, Sterling, how you doing? Uh... That I don't know just yet. It's going to really depend on when PYT number two goes. Well, what night is it closed, Sterling? I, you want me just to guess? <laughs> Give me the info. <laughs> help, help a brother out. We're doing really well, Chestnut. Thanks for asking. Doing really well. Having a good night. Very good night. All right. Hit number three. Or actually four. Sorry. Hit number four. Forgot I was counting that triple rip. All right. Final hit out of box number nine is... Another bat chip. This time, Scotty Rowland for the Jays. Rolling, rolling, rolling for Greg B. Congratulations, Greg B. Let's light it up and load it up for him. Lots of wood coming out of this case, too. Giggity. All right, here comes Box. Number 10. You were the first to spot that chestnut. Uh, I've had that up for weeks. <laughs> I think I changed that the day after they announced the name change. You are the first person to... Maybe other people have spotted it, but you're the first person to mention it. <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind. Box loader. Probably not going to be a triple rip this time. Nope, definitely not. A little too thin. A little too thin. Yachty the Body Molina. Well, you probably would have hated my uh, previous uh, team board. I had a bunch of intentional uh, team misspellings. I loved messing with people with that because they'd, they'd be like, you spelled the Marlins wrong. I'd be like, oh, did I? Sorry about that. And then I wouldn't change it. I'd just keep it <laughs> misspelled. And then, you know, a week goes by and the same person would be like, hey, it still says, you know, you didn't change it. I'm like, oh, my bad. I'm sorry. So I wouldn't change it. <laughs> Box 
And that came from when we would do trades uh, on random teams or whatever. Someone would... You do miss the barbs. Someone would uh, invariably uh, misspell the team uh, that they're trading, and I would just roll with it. I would just change it and see if anyone noticed. It took a while for some people to notice the barbs. <laughs> Marlene's guy. If if the Marlene's are permanently yours, I might I might think about it. Uh, mascots in real life, the green monster. It's another one of those things where, like, well, this should go to the Red Sox, right? But that's on the non-MLB checklist, so that's got to go non-MLB. I don't think the Red Sox... Who's got the Red Sox? I don't think Tim is going to... Oh, Tim? I don't know. Will he be upset? I don't know. I'm going by the checklist. I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> Tops, why do you do this to me? I do not have jokes. I do not. I am 100% serious 100% of the time. You know this. You know this. And we got a hit. It is. Don't you dare sleep on those rays. Willie Adonis. Picnic napkin. David N. is on the board. First break with us. Grabbing a picnic napkin. Don't you dare sleep on those rays. Willie Adamas. That means that uh, David narrowly escaped getting a Jose Canseco rays auto. Is what that means. <laughs> Dino teeth. Yeah, well, that's the other thing I wanted. Yeah, okay, so there are three things we haven't pulled out. No book cards, no cut cigs, and no uh, dinosaur bones. Rangers? Nada. But uh, P.T. Berg has them. So, that's fine. <laughs> P.T. Berg's not here. He'll, he'll watch the replay and he'll hear me say, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Hook. I almost said it the other way. But, uh, I've done enough swearing for one night, I think. Well, if I don't do well with the Rangers tonight, that means I'm going to do well the next night. That's just the rules. Um, and of course, you know, I do pack up my own uh, boxes and packs. So, you know, you just put a request in and I can, uh, I can load it up. We'll get it loaded up real well for you. Lots of rangers. Lots of picnic napkins for you, Trey. <laughs> I'm not looking at the checklist right now. I don't remember, but uh, did no one Ryan sign uh, rangers this year in uh, Ginter? I mean, dude has so many options. Usually Astros, but, uh, you know. See, now, if you're going to use a picture of, of Honus Wagner, use that one. Don't use the one where he looks like he's 152. Is what I'm saying. Told you I was sassy today. Sweet sassy molasses. Six toes Sanchez. And we got another hit coming up. We've got an elbow. Pinstripes. Are you... Nick. Now... <laughs> I 
<laughs> I mean, all you're really doing is uh, giving other people a better opportunity to get some non MLB stuff. <laughs> I hope that's all of them. Damn. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Crap. It's like this case giveth. And then it taketh away by giving Nick B all the relic cards. <laughs> if I pull any dupe relics for the Cubs, I'll just consider that penance for... Well, not penance, but uh, that's what we're paying for. Uh, that's how we're paying for having such a good case otherwise. Box topper auto only. Uh. But I mean, that would be an awesome pull, though. I think. But what do I know? I just work here. <laughs> Damn, am I going to be done before 10? I was thinking like 11, 11, 30. I got to give myself more credit. And I even, I even had a little like 5, 10 minute pause there. You know, with all the twins hits that are in the damn checklist, I'm surprised we haven't pulled any yet. But no, gotta be all Cubs. I suppose, Nick, that's what you get for. Didn't you buy a gold label, a box of gold label for me yesterday? <laughs> And uh, what did you get? Uh, did you get Urkiti was your was your auto? Is that right? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was okay. Yeah. Of course, it was a pitcher. We knew that. See, that's why you're getting all relics tonight because you already got your auto. You already got your auto yesterday. All right, here comes another hit. Well, we're. Pulling nothing but relics lately. I think we've got all our autos already, so nothing but relics now. And hit number three out of box number 10. I think it's three. Ooh, well, that's a nice looking one. Wang Yoon Kim. Cardinals. Cards on cards is finally on the board. Now, if you're going to do a napkin, let's at least not make it a plain white picnic napkin something like this the baby powder blues that's the way to go that's good i like it congrats carrie ah logan webb okay yeah very memorable <laughs> That's the unfortunate part about Loop is uh can't go back and rewatch it. I can't remember. And I've already packed a bunch of that stuff away, so it's not just sitting here. I I can't just let stuff sit around. I Well, LQ would not agree with that. I mean she's <laughs> I can't let merchandise that has been purchased from me sit around, I guess is would be the better way to say that. Other stuff, yeah, I just let it sit. But, you know, I got stuff to do.
Okay. So that is Giants. I looked that up for sure. So that's not no, uh, that's not non MLB. Former twin Jose Barrios that pains me to say that, but it is what it is. You know, we got we got Austin Martin out of the deal. I'm not gonna be that sad. <laughs> For now, for now. Penultimate bo uh, box, penultimate pack out of box number 10. And final pack out of box number 10. Supernova. And a champagne supernova in the sky. Someday you will find. Okay, that's fine. All right, that is it for boxes 9 and 10. Oh, Stella, hello. Want to become famous? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, oh, Stella. Tell me how. Tell me how. Well, I'm not clicking your link. Get out of here with that crap. All right. Uh, <laughs> All these jersey pieces, a bat chip, another picnic napkin, nothing but relics. We do have one non-MLB hit, however. Uh, let's see who's getting all the non-MLB cards from boxes 9 and 10, including that hit. Team board going away. Let's pull up the screen. Make sure I've got all my hits marked down. Uh, Cardinals needs to be marked down now. Cubs, duh. Rays, all right. Got to mark down the Rays for David. Blue Jays already marked down and Yankees already marked down okay very good very good and now all these folks are eligible for the non MLB cards all of our lists tonight being randomized three times name at the top of the list on um, third randomization wins all the non MLB cards pulled in boxes nine and ten good luck everybody here we go and the winner is Tim M. Congratulations, Tim. And you got a hit in this, so we're going to mark you down as having a hit now. Excellent. There we go. All right. Going to put these cards away, and we'll be back with the last two boxes of this case break. Ain't tight. beverage for me. Get a little parched down here.
Oh, I know I got a bot. I know. Yeah, that's fine. No one watches me on Twitch anyway. It's okay. <laughs> All right, everybody, are you ready? Are you excited? Are you pumped? Here it is. The final two boxes of the night, boxes 11 and 12. We've had a great case tonight. No matter what happens uh, with these last two boxes, we have had a great case. But uh, let's get to work. Let's finish it up. Oh, hello, LQ. See, she saw my text. See, isn't this a wonderful, wonderful person? Can I give you this? Were you sleeping? Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Well, thank you. Box loader, here we go. And we got Kershaw as our box loader in box number 11. I need a sandwich. <laughs> I already had a sandwich. I do need something to eat though. I am very hungry. But I'm more parched than anything else right now. <laughs> All right, away we go. Almost feels like we've got a hit out of pack number one. Do we? Do we? Do we? No, I don't think we do. Don't think we do. Glaives. thinking we've got a hit and then we don't what is wrong with me Billy Williams. A cub, by the way. <laughs> That's what I want to know. How many more Cubs hits <laughs> are we pulling out of these last two boxes? Spawn. Blue Jay. Suckers are loud. We've got some in the neighborhood, and man, boy, do they squawk. Jeez. Cardinals aren't much better either. Hey, we got a twin hit. It's Max Kepler. Bat chip. Going to fix her. Mikey, we did it. We got you a little, little Kepleroni. Very nice, very nice. OK, 
Congrats, Mike. And, even better, it wasn't a cup. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I just might. I just might. But probably not in this case. It'll it'll happen in the, the next one. Big Pappy. And these are getting harder and harder to grip. <laughs> Moisturize my hands a little bit there. Get a little dry. Oh, and by the way, there's Michelle Akers. For those who were asking, Oh, I know. I know. I was thinking that earlier. I was thinking that earlier. It was just so weird not having Brent even tweet about it. We got another frame, uh, probably mini relic. Yeah, I think I think we're out of autos. <laughs> we definitely pulled quite a few to start with. All right, hit number two out of box number eleven is framed mini picnic napkin for the Rays. Going to David N. Congrats, David. Got yourself another raise hit. This time a mini of Brandon Wow. Mini relic, I should say. Oh, that's not the size I want. What the hell? <laughs> that's not the one I want. That's not even the one I really want, but definitely not those. Jeez. All right, so our streak of not Cubs hits continues. I do wonder, though, since he had been doing some group breaks as well, definitely, you know, not a ton, but he's been doing some. I wonder if PayPal would have eventually shut him down, too. Just because he had such, such 
uh, a large scale operation. Huge amount of volume. Lots of money going in and out. You have to know that PayPal was well aware <laughs> of that account, you know. G back. I haven't noticed any non numbered backs yet. We probably have had some. I just haven't haven't noticed them yet. Penultimate pack of box number 11. There's that supernova again. Don't worry, I'll spare your ears. I won't sing about it this time. Someday you will find me. I like. <laughs> and old brown eye. And final hit out of box number 11 coming up. We've got another relic. Streak of relics continues. It's another twin. It's Mitch Garver. Two twins in one box. Wow. Mike. How about that? Congrats, Mike. Way to go, way to go. And that's box number 11. One final box to go. Don't forget, uh, if you're liking what you're seeing, if you want to get in on a full case PYT just like this one, I do have a few teams left in PYT number two, crackandwax.com slash shop. If you are in YouTube watching live, you can click the link at the top of the chat room. That'll take you right there. We'll fill it up. We'll crack it. Well, we won't crack it tonight. Uh, everyone's getting tired. But <laughs> and don't forget, 25% of net sales. I'm sorry, net profits, not net sales. 25% of, uh, of net profits are going to be donated to Big Brothers Big Sisters. And we are over $10,000 uh, right now four big brothers big sisters which is freaking amazing so thank you all very much for that final box box loader is an n43 old brown eye there we go Well, we, we've come a long way, you know. Uh, I've only had this case uh, in my possession for three and a half hours. <laughs> Have been streaming for three hours. And ripping for about two hours and 45 minutes. So not a bad pace for a full case of Ginter. Hey, Vilma, how you doing? How you been doing lately, uh, Vilma? And we've got a hit, I think. No, we don't. Okay, never, never mind. Never mind. Thought we did. Doing so-so. Well, I, I hope. Hope you do better than just so-so. Want to see you do more than just surviving very soon. I'd like to see that happen now, if I could.
But very happy to see you, though. We're missing you around here. You have missed a uh, pretty dang good case, I gotta say. Pretty nuts. First hit we pulled was a rip card of Babe Ruth. And then we pulled a dual rip card, and then we pulled a triple rip card, and we had two hot boxes instead of one, and oh, about 20 uh, Cubs relics. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a damn good case. Been a damn good case. My favorite hit so far, and I don't think anyone else would agree with this, but my favorite auto that we pulled so far tonight has been Jeff Garland. I believe that's also LQ's favorite hit of the night. Well, you just have to go back and replay it, you know? As soon as this is available as a replay. Now, I'm not saying every case will be like that, but uh, that sure would be nice if they were. <laughs> have a hit coming up and it's another full-size relic so yeah we are on a streak of relics back here ah baby blue of nola aaron nola for the phillies another hit for dame debbie another not a cubs hit <laughs> That would be awesome, Debbie. I would love that. That would be so cool. Smith. Well, we've got two hits left. About 14, 13, 14 packs left to go. Uh, we will also be doing the random for the random teams in the charity case break. That'll happen after we're all done here. So if anyone wants to stay behind and, uh, and witness the randomization, that would be nice. You don't have to if you don't want to. Usually helps to have someone... Uh, here, just in case I screw something up, they can call it out. Oh, boy. Okay. So, this card did not survive uh, the pack out machine. Uh, oh, man. Boy, did that get mangled. Jeez. Holy heck. That got destroyed, and I don't even know how that got in there. I'm not even gonna ship that. Jeez. That is nuts. Well, 
Not supposed to have too many cards in a pack anyway, so that was an accident. Yeah, it's just a regular old base, so not even a non-numbered. That is, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, and now this pack is missing a mini. So, okay, so that was supposed to be in here, I'm gonna guess, all right. hit coming up I think it might be an auto this time I haven't seen an auto in a while all right our second to last hit probably a mini framed auto let's see what we've got Evan White rookie auto Mariners for the Marlins guy. Jason. Congratulations. Would you like this to also be a PSA one? <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Probably going to be our final auto of the night. Probably. Maybe not. Never know. Never know. All right, we are down to our final stack of cards. All right, let's rip. Let's rip. The newsboy. Well, what do you think? Let's see if someone can call the shot. What's the final hit gonna be? What's it gonna be? Decks of minis are not playing nice over here. <laughs> Vilma, maybe it'll be a non MLB. You know? <laughs> I want to hang on to this. We got a red frame, I think. Yeah. I think. I don't know what the hell this is. I'm going to I'm going to hold on to this. That's going to be the last thing I show you. I don't know what the heck that is. I'm a little excited to find out what that is. 
Yeah, it's definitely a... Oh, I wonder if it's a cloth card. I wonder if it's a cloth card. All right, here comes the final pack. Before we reveal whatever the heck that frame thing is, I'm guessing it's a cloth card. And, oh, there's a hit in here, too. Okay, okay. Well, nice way to end a good case, I think, is with a bonus hit. I think. Nice, Sterling. Very nice. Okay. Firstly, we've got... Picnic Napkin, non-MLB, Chris Brickley. So, this doesn't go to anyone yet. We'll sign that in just a couple minutes. Now, what is this mysterious thing in the back here? You see that, right? That's why I'm thinking it's, uh, I don't know. We'll find out. We will find out. Yeah, it's a cloth card. Oh, and it's hand numbered. 34 of 51. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that. All right, what do we have? Luis Roberts. Hand numbered framed mini cloth card, White Sox, Dame Debbie. Nice. Okay, now can I rip that triple rip card? <laughs> oh, that is cool. That is so cool. Um. How are we feeling about this case? Was this not a ridiculously good case? This was so good. This was so good. Damn. Well, as a little refresher, let's just see what we got out of boxes 11 and 12. Yeah, we did okay. We did okay. Yeah. All right, well, now let's see who gets the non-MLB cards from boxes 11 and 12, including this Brickley Picnic napkin. Uh, <laughs> pull up the screen. Let's mark down the remaining hits. Let's see. Mariners need to be marked down. They were already marked down because Marlins guy already got something from uh, oh uh, non-MLB hit earlier. Okay. Phillies, we've already marked down. Rays, already marked down. Twins. Looks like is the only thing. Hasn't been marked down yet. All right. Very good. All of our lists are being randomized three times. Name at the top of the list on the third randomization gets all the non MLB cards from boxes 11 and 12. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. And our winner is. Joshua S. Congratulations, Joshua. Now, we're also doing instant gratification. And it just happens to be the exact same list of people that we're doing uh, with instant gratification. Name at the top of the list on the third randomization wins a prize with instant gratification just for going hitless in this break. And you know what? Actually, Joshua now has a hit, so I gotta take that away. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. And the winner of instant gratification is... John G. 
John G went uh, hitless in this case. Is gonna get instant gratification because he went hitless in this case. Well played, well played. All right, let's give that wheel a spin. Let's see what John G is gonna win. Here we go. Thanks, Marlins guy. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And 100 wax bucks going John G's way. Awesome. Very awesome. All right, well, that was a super freaking fantastic case. Uh, I couldn't be happier. I'm very, very pleased. Love it. Love it. Glad you were all here. Uh, a very last minute notice uh, to watch and join in and chat along uh, with this fantastic case. Two hot boxes, single rip, dual rip, triple rip, bunch of autos, uh, tons of Cubs relics. Amazing. Just amazing. Well, that's going to do it for 2021 Tops Allen to get your full case PYT number one. If you want to join in on another full case PYT of this, we do have some teams left. Crackamax.com slash shop. It's currently the only break listed there. Uh, head on in. Get your teams. We'll, we'll crack it after it's filled. We do also have a charity case break of Allen and Ginter that we'll be ripping uh, probably next week, I hope. Um, which... We're going to take care of right now sharing this screen because we are doing uh, the random uh, team assignments. All right, this is our spreadsheet for 2021 Tops Allen Ginter Charity Case Break. That is the uh, Deb P's Allen Ginter Charity Case Break. These are the random team assignments that we're about to do here. First, I'm going to take the teams that were not assigned so far. Drop that into random.org. We're going to randomize that three times. And we'll drop that back there. And our wax crackers. And thank you so much to everyone who donated uh, to get spots in the charity case break. And thank you hugely to Deb P for buying a full case of this and donating it to us so that we could break it for charity. Freaking huge. All right, here we go. Team assignments in the random portion of Deb P's Allen Ginter Charity Case Break is as follows. Austin with the Astros, Blair with the Orioles, Boomish with the Tigers, Canto with the Rays, Dame Debbie with the A's, David L with the D-backs, Denon with the Nats, Glenn with the Rangers, Joe Mama with the White Sox and the Royals, Laura with the Brewers, Mahmood, Red Sox and Giants. Lucky you got the Red Sox. Marlins guy with the Indians, Nacho with the Phils, Nick B with the Mariners, Wake of Orion with the Pirates, Weaver with the Rockies. I will post this on the forum tomorrow. And you folks will have a few days to make trades. If you want to make trades with each other, please do it in the private messaging portion of the uh, website. If you're able to lock down trades, then please confirm that on the forum. And I'll, uh, again, I'll post this tomorrow on the forum for you folks to do that. All right. Well, that is going to do it uh, for us tonight. And uh, we don't have anything else scheduled for the week. I don't know what I'm going to see you next, but it's probably going to be sometime next week. Heck, you might even see me uh, before then on loop. So if you're, if you're into loop, uh, we've been doing that uh, quite a lot more than uh, we have in the past. So, which I'm sure makes loop plenty of happy, uh, plenty happy. So, but until next time, as always have a great night and keep cracking that wax. Wax.